Oh, that never gets old. <laughs> that look at chills. Oh. <laughs> hey there, guys. How you doing? So this week I wanted to actually make good on a promise that I made to someone in a comment on a previous vlog. Uh, it would be Life Grip about a month ago at this point. I uh, asked for an update on my Venusaur uh, Pokemon card collection. I told him I'd do it. Oh yeah, I'll do it in the next vlog, and I totally forgot. So first of all, Life Grip, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> um, so I'm making good on that now. Honestly, right now I can't really remember how much I've really talked about Pokemon on this particular channel. You know, I had my Professor Zach channel. Um, I've done a little bit of Pokemon stuff on this channel, but I've tried to keep them separate. Um, but since the comment was on this channel, and I'm not doing anything with the Pokemon channel anymore, um, I. Have to, for those of you who don't care about Pokemon, I guess you'll just have to bear with me for this week. <laughs> now, as I've said many times before, Venusaur is my favorite Pokemon. The fact that it's the best of the starter Pokemon's uh, final evolutions, it's the best option for the story, single-player story mode of the original Red, Blue, Yellow games. The fact that it's still fairly competitively viable on the video game side. Uh, with, and then with its mega evolution, the fact that it's resistant to fire and ice attacks with thick fat. It's, it's just Venusaur is such an awesome Pokemon. And then, and then you get moments in the show, at least in the original series, where Venusaur just kicks total butt. <laughs> so, um, lately I have been, actually probably for the last couple of years now, I've been tr working on collecting the, uh, the different trading cards of Venusaur. I've made it my goal to have one of every version, English version of Venusaur that's ever been printed. So without any further ado, here is where my Venusaur collection currently stands. Alrighty, let's come on into my collection. Oh, bad lighting. <laughs> um, so I have placeholders for the cards that I'm missing. Obviously some of them are going to be a bit more expensive than others to uh, <laughs> acquire. Um, I do have it starting off with a Japanese card, my only Japanese Venusaur card, actually my only Japanese card at all, I think. Um, anyway, Japanese base set, Hollow Venusaur, kind of kicks things off. Obviously, I don't have the first edition Shadowless Venusaurs, which makes me sad, but that's okay. I've got a regular base set Venusaur. Base set, base set two, and the uh, Wizards of the Coast uh, promo that came with the Game Boy... If I recall correctly, it was the Game Boy Color Pokemon trading card game, actually. Yeah. Um, oh, another little feature I want to highlight of how I have my binder set up. So, regular base set, base set, base set. So, basically, if I have the Bulbasaurs and Ivysaurs from that set, I kind of tuck it behind. One of these days when I get a new binder, that'll be just for Venusaurs. I'll figure out a way to display the Bulbasaurs as well, but. Um, Venusaur is the focus. Oh yeah, I don't have Shadowless Venusaur, but I do have Shadowless Bulbasaur Blah. and Ivysaur. Well, the only first edition card I've got is Erica's Venusaur, and I do have the Bulbasaur here. I think I've got a Bulbasaur, just Bulbasaur, okay. Just Erica's Bulbasaur, also first edition. Missing the Unlimited and Legendary Collection. And we've got Expedition number 67, missing the Reverse Hollow. Then I've got number 68, regular and reverse hollow. I've got a dark Venusaur, just the standard version. I do not have the winter stamp. I believe that there is a large version of dark Venusaur. Or maybe it was one of my positions. I have to double check, I don't remember. But anyway, don't have any of the larger versions of the card. Not that there would be a place to put them in a binder like this, but I'll, I'll figure that out when the time comes. All right, and then over here I've got the Pokemon Organized Play Series 2 Hollow. You can barely see, but that one is Hollow. Got the Hollow and non-Hollow versions of that. I'd say probably the most beat up card I've got in the collection is this Crystal Guardians, uh, just non-Hollow. Don't have the Reverse Hollow yet, but I do have the Hollow. Uh, I believe it was a Theme Deck exclusive version with the Crystal Guardian stamp there. And I've got the three versions of Secret Wonders, Hollow, Reverse Hollow, and Theme Deck Non-Hollow. And then I got a full set of those guys. 
I love this one, po the Pokemon Rumble Giga Drain Venusaur. Just so derpy with the <laughs> low res graphics. And now we come to Dark Explorers, and this one has been a source of frustration for me. So I've got the Reverse Hollow, but I don't have the regular Hollow that came from the Dark Explorers. I do have the what's called Cosmos Hollow. See how the little shininess comes up in little dots? So, fun fact, this version of the card was printed for, um, they call them check lane blisters, where it's a little special, uh, it's a booster pack plus a promo card, um, and they hang them up by the check lanes. Well, during the XY era, they reprinted Dark Explorer's Venusaur, but they did it with the modern Cosmos Hollow instead of the Tinsel Hollow, which is more of a, a long line pattern that goes along behind the art, the, uh, the Pokemon and the artwork. When you look on TCG Player, the only thing that comes up for Dark Explorers, well, they don't have a listing for the different Hollow types on TCG Player. So everyone who's got Dark Explorers Hollow listed more than likely actually has this version because it was the more, most recent, most common. I've been having a heck of a time finding the Tinsel one I, I think I have found it on Troll and Toad, but I hate buying from them because they're more expensive than TCG Player. But yeah, so, the, that, this, mm, source of frustration. But that's okay, we'll move on to the X and Y era, and I've got all the, I've got everything here with the different Venusaur EXs and Mega Venusaur EXs. Though, of this era, my favorite card, and actually probably my favorite card of the entire collection, from an artwork standpoint, is this Venusaur EX promo that came out with Generations, I believe. The reason why this one's my favorite is because it actually also prominently features my second favorite po Pokemon, Scyther. So having my two favorites on a card together is pretty stinking cool. So yeah, definitely happy with, happy with that one. Mm, this, it was a used binder, no pocket. <laughs> So then we come back over to the Shining Legends, Venusaur, Normal and Reverse Hollow, um, and then the Spirit Links, regular and Reverse Hollow, and now the modern cards, we've got Celebi and Venusaur GX Tag Team, I've got the regular and the full art, and I've got one more of each of them in a deck built around them that one of the guys who came to League uh, was very generous and helped me build a deck with those and uh, yeah I love it it's probably the best Venusaur deck I've ever seen uh, better than the uh, Exeggutor deck that ran these guys as support very happy that this card came out and actually gives a pretty competitively viable deck featuring my favorite Pokemon which doesn't always happen so that's pretty cool and then just for fun uh, I haven't actually seen Detective Pikachu yet, but some of the kids that came to League had some extras of these, and I was able to trade for them, so I've got a, a movie Bulbasaur. <laughs> so yeah, there you go, Life Grip. I uh, hope you liked it, and I hope everyone else who watched this liked the video as well. Um, obviously, I still have a long way to go, but you know, slow and steady wins the race. <laughs> Uh, for those of you who actually like Pokemon, let me know in the comments what your favorite Pokemon is and if you have any kind of collection centered around that particular Pokemon. And for you non-Pokemon fans, thank you for bearing with me. Uh, thank you all for watching. Um, I'll see you next week, hopefully, Lord willing. And uh, oh yeah, don't forget to you know like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. But uh, yeah, that's all I've got this week, so I will see you next time.